Hello everybody, welcome back to Skyrim, the Relic Hunter playthrough, and we are in the the place, the place to be, the museum, of course. You'll probably notice I have new armor on. I've made myself some new armor, I made a new sword, I made Inigo some new armor. So I'll just show this off real quick, if you can turn the frick around here. It's the Ursine armor, I guess it's kind of Witcher inspired or something? Because the Ursi necklace is literally the Witcher medallion, so I was like, oh. I didn't make him that, though. I think he has a Stender Amulet on. I also gave him a uh, Ebony Crown. Just to flash out his head so he can keep his face. But I have Silver Knight armor. They used to call Nern it's 4K textured, I believe. Everyone was a gladiator in this thing. It's pretty cool. It's just retextured steel armor, though, in the end of the day, but it's quite fancy, so it's pretty pretty cool. But the sword. Where's my sword? It's not hockey, of course. Uh, it's, where is it? Stormfiend. It's called Stormfiend because I named it. Because it's a... Uh, I enchanted it with some... Uh, some lightning. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I guess I could have showed it in my inventory, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. I believe it's the Elven Blood... Elven something Blood Blade. It's pretty cool. I was like, yeah, I'll make that. And then I put it delivers five points of static shock damage, which isn't much, but there's a 10% chance to deal five times that damage, which is pretty high, you know. Considering how much you hit people. But I wanted like 150 enchants, so it wouldn't just run out immediately, so I put it at five. But it was at like eight or something, you know. It's not crazy, but it's just something. I have waited a day, I've cleaned in my inventory, done some crafting, like I said. And we're kinda ready to talk to Orion, because he's ready to divulge some information. So let's do it. My friend! I have some incredible information about the relics to share with you. Is now a good time? Now is the perfect time. I can sit and talk. Then please, come have a seat and we'll talk. Okay. I guess seating is on the menu. <coughs> We're going to the dining table. Perhaps. All these crazy... Oh, there's a glass! I didn't even realize. I genuinely didn't realize there was like a, supposed to be a glass in front of this. You can kind of see the reflection of it, but if you just look at it straight up, you can't see the glass. And the fact that I could just take them all, which is why I thought there was no glass. Alright, these are very low to the ground chairs. <laughs> anyway. Ah, good. Well, where to begin? I know that I tend to expound upon things, but I'll try and be to the point for brevity's sake. If you'd like to know more about anything, just ask. Otherwise, I'll assume you know what I'm talking about. Now, I've done a good deal of research to confirm some theories, and from what I can tell, the amulet pieces and the shield both react with one another, because they're connection to the covenant of Akatosh made with Alessia. Alright, I'm with you so far. I know about that, because I've played Oblivion. Queen Alessia's soul was bound to the Amulet of Kings in the Covenant and was captured within the gem upon her death. Her soul must still be bound to the gem, even in a shattered state. The relics react to you because of your soul being directly bound to Akatosh as kin of the Dove, your own dragon soul. I believe that if we were to bring together enough relics that tie to the Covenant, we may be able to appeal to Akatosh to actually reform the Amulet. Ooh, to what end? Well, aside from restoring one of the most historically significant artifacts in Tamriel's history to its proper glory, the gem in the amulet served another purpose, which was to help reinforce the very nature of creation by powering the White Gold Tower. I would be very curious to know if restoring the stone would have any effect on the larger scheme of things. Now, as to the other figures involved, there is Raymond Cyrodiil, who had a rather mythological origin. The story states that his father, King Hrol, begot him in a union with the spirit of Saint Alessia upon the site of Sangrator, the Golden Hill, 
The spirit was the land itself, and Thrall placed the Chim El Abadal into the dirt where his son was planted and then he died. Raymond was then born from the soil and bore the gem upon his forehead. What? <laughs> what the hell is that kind of lore? Okay, is the amulet is, is the amulet stone, right? Yes, that's right. Oh, of course, I knew that. Sure, go on. Then of course we have Tiger Septum, who was a dragonborn in the same way that you are, and who also carried the blood of the Alessian line. His connection to this is irrefutable, and would almost certainly resonate with the other relics in the same way. Sorry, I'd turn up his volume if I can, but I think they're turned up as much as I can. So, so then we need something of Tiber Septims. Precisely. During the Oblivion Crisis, Martin Septim gathered the blood from the armor of Tiber Septim in a ritual to send the champion of Cyrodiil to Manka Cambrin's realm of Oblivion. After mm. Martin's sacrifice, the armor was returned to Sangrator and placed back in Tiber Septim's tomb. We need a part of that armor in order to prove my theory and proceed forward with reforming the amulet. Obviously, with the borders closed and a battle raging in the Pale Pass, you would never be able to sneak into Cyrodiil. Oh, come on. I found some interesting clues in a variety of the relics I've gathered like to. here within the museum and my other references. The ancient Falma utilized a form of transportation magic, and I had a theory that their cousins, the aliens, may well have had a similar power. So I looked into it, and I've managed to uncover an alien waystone, which seems to confirm my theory. I believe it may well send you to Sangrator. I should. The way the stones apparently worked was that they would be worn, and that the person would be drawn to an alien site near their blood-bound kin. It was a way for royalty to quickly summon their elite guard to them who were bound in blood. I believe that your dragon blood will draw you to Septim's grave, Sangrator. Simply wear the amulet, and you will be transported there. Hopefully. To return, simply remove it. Okay. That sounds amazing. So get a piece of the armor and get back? Yes. Hopefully that will be the sum of it, but of course, do be on guard. There is no telling what may be lurking there. Be well, and return safely. Amazing. I wonder if my followers can come. Simply amazing. It is amazing. We're going to Sancrator. Yes. There's a mod that added like something about Sancrator and Oblivion. I didn't download it or play it before, but I've seen it. I don't know much about Sancrator, to be honest. Back. Wonderful. Um, before we go, I did notice... This is originally where we got the books to learn about Shalador's whatever and Cyrus's saber. But I realized, after looking around, there's a lot more of these books on his table. I haven't opened them yet. This is where all the side quests are, basically. Look at the dagger of Samachus, the Ice Blade of the Monarch. It's a pretty famous one. Fist of Randigolf. Orgnum and the Mormer. What the hell that is? How many of these is there? Dragon Mail Curus. Okay, any more? Warlock's Ring? Oh, nice. Warlock's Ring's been in like every Elder Scrolls game. It's a very popular one. Whoa, easy. I know it's in Daggerfall for sure. Probably in Oblivion. Probably in Morrowind as well. Probably in this game. I don't know if it's in Arena, but... I don't really know what's in Arena. Alright, so we got a bunch of, like, side quests. And we could use the books, probably, if we read them a bit, to actually find where their stuff is. But we're gonna do this today, of course. That's for the future. I actually screwed up my mod load order, because I was dicking around. <laughs> I had, like... The lighting in here was shining through the windows, and it was, like, green. I was like, uh... It clearly was missing a texture. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I done goofed. So I just, I put everything back and it's fixed. And I'm not touching my mod loader again. I would hate to break my game at this stage. We also had this guy's quest to do as well. Yes. What is it? 
Where we have to gather all the materials. I still have to get quarried stone. I haven't done yet. So, uh, yeah. There's probably still a dragon outside. There was last time I was out there, and I kind of ignored it. We don't actually have to go outside, though. Wait, alien waystone. Can we make a Let replica of this? A that would probably be a good call, huh? Might not be able to, of course. Uh, tools replica. I think I need to make replicas of the, uh... Like the tools, the tool bag. This. Uh, apparently I can't of the necklace, even though it wants the necklace. It's kind of odd. Whatever. Well, I can... For sure, summon you to me. And you to me. Inigo, I don't know. Let's hope he comes with us. Here we go. Some mysterious force of prevention removal of the waystone amulet. Come on! Oh, good, they do come. Ah! Rage soul, eh? I want to see Kaiden. I mean, Kaiden's a good one to have with me, to be fair. I'm sorry, Kaiden. Well, they're immune to shock damage. Oh, maybe not always. Is it dead? Ugh. Beset on all sides. Who done this? Alright, you skeleton bastards. Oh. Elemental Fury is a weapon enchantment? I wasn't aware of that. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Fucking trees, like right in my way. Very nice. <laughs> Those dark red arrows are all right. Might as well. You'll hear the heavy breathing of another wounded. I'll summon Nobara to me after this thing dies. Ow. Just right block, huh? Oh, he's back. Ah! Stop it. Frick. Okay. I think we're good. Do they have anything worth taking? Do I need an Akavari composite bow? Seems not. I'll take one anyway. Bloody mist. Won't know what's in there till it bites you. I uh, know. Okay. Bloody right. mist. Won't know what's in there till it bites you. Yeah, you just you just said that. Very good. <laughs> the hell, I don't have iron arrows. We hope this fog lift soon. Did you just get stuck? Poof! Mm. Right. Summon Kaiden. Oh, he's right there. 
Well, you're being summoned again. Oof, there he is. Nabara, I believe, is a teleport spell. There it is. Only Inigo had one. I guess he'll have to wait for us, sadly. Katana. Okay, it's pretty ominous here. That doesn't seem normal. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh, blade sword. Nice. I hear those arrows. Too fast. Oh, I got a bow. If I knew it was hotkey too. What is my bow hockey two? <laughs> no idea. Two? Oh yeah. I was thinking shield is on two, but that's that's ender all. I don't have a shield in this. I do have the abilities in it. Yeah, go to hell. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Come on, I'm pretty sure I pressed one. Try to pull up my damn spell. There it is. Let's use that for once. Ah! What are you? You too! Run him through! Oh dear. Where are my followers? Well, you stop using bows and help me, you fucks. Look at the mini map, there's tons of them. Or the compass, rather. I have my followers not helping. Where's Nabara? <laughs> Hello? What is he doing? Do they not know how to pathfind here? Is there like no nav mesh or something? <sighs> I don't know. It's possible, I guess. If that's the case. Ugh. Ow. Tree holes, okay. Eventually we're gonna get the key, apparently. Look at them all. There's so many. Well, I'll tell you what. If you can't figure out how to get here, I'll bring him to us. Same with Nebra. I need their assistance. You should be used to that kind of thing, playing Ender all with the follower. <laughs> Which I do all the time. I probably wouldn't have added an enchant to my sword had I realized I couldn't use Elemental Fury anymore. I can make a new one, though. It's just a crafted sword, after all. I just thought it'd be cool to have an enchant, you know? You have a death wish? Yeah, I, I might. I assume you're not talking to me, though. Give this guy a, a beating. Ah. There we go. Dealt with. I'm assuming this doesn't open. Yeah. Kinda weird if it did. 
Well done, boys. We're not done yet. They... They definitely have trouble following here. <laughs> Kaiden. Don't know where he's going. I hope there's not a key on a skeleton or something, because I'm not going to bother looting all these assholes. generally have basic loots. I don't think there's any point in looting all these. If there's any secrets or anything. What happens after we reforge the Amulet King? That's what I want to know. If we just put it in display case, I'd be like, yeah, right. <laughs> there's no way in hell that you would be allowed to do such a thing with the Amulet of Kings. Although I'd imagine the current Emperor couldn't even wear the Emilia Kings. Like, the Dragon Bloodline is gone, right? So, we're good as it. Pretty sure people of the Dragon Blood only could wear the Emilia Kings. And the current Emperor, like Titus Mead, whatever, he is not. Oh dear. This guy will kick my ass. So he thinks. Oh! Kill moves are kind of odd on skeletons. It's gotta be said. <laughs> it, it would look perfectly normal on a human, but a skeleton is like. Uh, okay. <sighs> yes, I see they're having troubles. Let's go get this guy. Give me old bow action. Wait, does this work with this? Uh, probably tried this before. I can't remember. I don't know. Is it working? It doesn't feel any different. They're very breathy, aren't they? I guess they have my sound overhaul for Draugr and such. I do like it though. It's quite cool. I don't know if I put it on skeletons, but it's all right. more. Here we go. Alright. They are dead then. I'll just summon them when I get to where I need to go, I guess. Where do I need to go? <laughs> I don't actually know. Uh, let me track the quests. I am tracking the quests. There's apparently still one more enemy this way. Somewheres over here. Yeah, where there's like no chests or anything here. Is that chests? Maybe they just look different. Oh, they look different. Make sure dungeons key. Ooh. I love how as soon as I said something about dungeon or chests, I fucking found one immediately. Typical. Hello, friend. <laughs> Ow. Right. <laughs> I don't feel like I was swinging that way, but okay. I got the dungeons key, huh? Which one's the dungeons? Uh, yeah, we need a... Entry halls? Maybe? Just go towards the quest marker and see if we can get in now, I guess. There we go. It worked. Let's sneak for a minute while I get my followers to me. 
mind. All right. Quick save. Light. This place is it's a bit spooky. Give me big vigilant vibes. There's a lot like it. It's not a bad thing either. Vigilant is very good. The Vigilant mod is super cool. I probably mentioned it a few times. I did it on my next room answer. It was a very long mod. But God, it was awesome. If it was like half as long as it was, that would be... I'd probably do it again. <laughs> but it's quite long. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Is that a coffin then? Didn't really try to look at it as a coffin. That looks like a scaled down building. Used as decoration. If so, very nice. Alright, let's get in there, boys. <laughs> yes, I wholeheartedly agree. Okay, I'm ruined. Sword. Ah, I like this place is really well done. Looks good. I wanted some gold. It's different. I don't need any more blade swords. I have enough, I think. Jeez. That guy's like, try again, bitch. Well, I guess we could take a few. What is this? Magic over generate ten percent faster, increase the hammer skill by ten points for three hundred seconds. Oh. It's like a rune stone from uh, Oblivion or an alien well or whatever. Something like that, perhaps. Oh, hello. Count Nobles help but notice there's no music in here. Maybe I'll add some, maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really tired of adding music to the fucking episodes. Because this happens quite often. Like, it's not necessary. But like I said, it's just better. If you're in a dungeon, you should have dungeon music, you know, not just silence. Alright, well, with that in mind, I guess I'll probably do that. So we can go right, we can go left, we can go this way, to the prisons, or the courtyard. Or apparently, courtyard is where we came from. I guess this is where we didn't come from. We don't want to go there yet. So that's the way to go. I like these, like, red drapes, or whatever they would be called. Very fancy. Uh, I think not. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. I don't know. A, a Johasa Delight. Oh, yes. Some other stuff. I mentioned this in Enderall, but I do tend to loot things too quickly, I've noticed. So when I start looting chests and I look at the loot, I'm going to look a bit... Just a bit slower, so we can all have a look at it. Instead of just being like, boom, looted. 
not super slow. Like, you gotta keep up, but at least a little bit slower. I'm not just gonna instantly press loot. There have been times where I've instantly pressed loot and not even really cared what it was in it and just been like, well. And I'd like later on, oh, I have this thing? When did I get that? I wonder. Second floor prisons. Another prison. There's prisons there. There's catacombs there. I didn't see a door to the catacombs. I guess that's if you fall down. There's two ways to the prison. I guess we'll go to the prison first. I'm gonna fully explore this beast. It's not every day you get a custom dungeon, right? This one has a really cool tile set. I've seen this tile set before. I don't remember where, though. Did it work? No. Ah, ball sacks. Almost had it. I have so many lockers. Ah. You can always tell when there's a freaking ghost or whatever nearby. They're so noisy. <laughs> Ow. I do love this sound overall. Soulsborne sound pack is so good. Combined with Sekiro, Oblivion Combat, so good. I should have just used this for all of my playthroughs. Ow, oh, right, I couldn't block that. Where are my followers? One's casting a thing and the other one's gone. I'll piss. Can I just can I disarm these? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> Let's try though. Let's break his poise so I can break his ass. Break my poise. Ah, that wasn't part of the plan. Let's get some stamina going. And minor healing, I guess. Probably good enough. are hard. <laughs> just kicking my ass. Alright, one bigger ceiling potion. Cool, Nabarro would actually help me. You know what? I'm going in here. Where are you, Kaiden? Fuck sake. This place is not follower friendly, it seems. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. Either way, it's troublesome. Abara has done this before. Sometimes he bugs out doing his thing. Where are you going? Like, literally, what the fuck is going on? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. No? Fuck this. Alright, I'm summoning Kaiden again. I mean, it sounds like it works. Pick these locks, huh? Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting in here. This is supposed to be a prison, after all. I could easily see this catacomb being quite. Oof. This is just the prison part. <laughs> this feels like the catacomb part. Oh my god. So many locks to pick. Locking skills will be through the roof after I'm done with here. 
Ah, son of a bitch. My sanity won't. It'll be gone. Gone snow. Okay, a bunch of fragments. Sir Jesto's journal and Sir Jesto's patchwork cloak. Which you said resistance fire, frost, and shock. Sneaking is 50% more effective. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. This is obviously like extra stuff, I'm guessing. So if you went and explored and didn't go straight for the thing, you could get more stuff. Which is pretty cool. Let's read his journal, eh? Okay, it's not long, thank god. My travels have finally come to an end. After many years of traveling Temriel, far and wide, avoiding bandits and beasts, wars, plagues, and horrid storms, or sweltering sands, I now find myself combined to this place. I barricade myself into the cell, which will end up as my tomb, I fear. I hear the dead lurk through the holes and the wails of the angry specters echoing through the corridors. They occasionally pass by a hollow cage and glance my way, but make no efforts to enter, if they even could, that is. I've run out of food, have no source of warmth, and the water that lies at the floor of this place is foul with the touch of the dead. I have precious little time, and I would rather end it all now than wait for these foul creatures to finally overtake me. If any reason these final thoughts, take my cloak and protect it well. It is the prize of a long life of journey. It didn't occur to me he hung himself <laughs> until, until, uh, until he said that. I thought he was just hanging around. Yikes. There's water on this floor, apparently. Oh yeah, he just literally said the water tainted by the foul of the dead or whatever. I just read those words two seconds ago. Ah, balls. Come on. After playing Enderall and having to use the like vanilla UI for Skyrim lockpicking, I remember how awesome this one is. It's so much better. I love it. Does this lead to anything at all? Because it sure doesn't feel like it. Somebody's aware of our presence. Jaildorn Master. Ugh. Oh, oh my god, why? I can do this. Just take some time. I find the sweet spot somewhere. It's only a matter of time of figuring it out. Ugh. Here. It's gonna take a minute to find that though. It's hard to find the sweet spot initially in Master Lockbreaking. Because you can't really tell if it's wiggling. You don't have enough time for it to like give way enough to real realize, usually. Oh, there it is. Because the pick breaks up suddenly. I'm glad I'm just absolutely stalked through the brim of lockpicks then. Okay. That was close. I should really, like, remember where I was exactly. Maybe more to the right? Nope. Other way up. Like here? Yeah. I just realized that door is absolutely covered in blood. Hello? Purchase tools. Oh, that's nice. Excuse me. Any other interesting bits in here? Doesn't seem like it. I think I just picked a master lock to get in there. Or to get out of there, which depends on what way you look at it, I suppose. I don't care for bone meal. It's not a meal I want. I'm not hungry. <laughs> ah, shit. Here we go again. Not dodge in time. Or at all. Okay, very 
good. Just make sure they don't have anything special on them. Nope. Okay, that leads up, which probably leads out of the prison. Oh, God. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised if there's a bunch of locked doors in a prison, but... Ugh. <laughs> it's like when I broke into the vault in my Oblivion playthrough. It's just there's tons of master locks I had to pick. I was just like, oh, God. It's satisfying, still, though. But also, annoying. Now, please don't, don't come in here. Not like this. Oh, I almost just nailed that one. Just random shot in the dark. How did I... How long have I already forgotten exactly where it was? God, sometimes. Okay. Can't wait to add 45 minutes of music to this video. On the bright side, I could just use all Daggerfall dungeon music because it fit quite nicely here. Ah. I'm just going to put it over the combat music even, if there is any. I can't really tell if there has been. So you might hear some overlapping combat with music I added. So I just can't be bothered. <laughs> That's the most annoying part, like going through and like putting music where there is already not music and whatnot. Damn, the bro got wrecked. That's to die. My time blocking is just atrocious. There you go. I can't block that. Problem is, I can't see the freaking thing half the time. Oh my god, this. These things are really annoying to fight. I mean, sure. I'll take it. Ah, magic. Good call. Where is, uh, Gaiden? <laughs> Blow the Gaiden horn. Or don't, apparently. He'll show up, though. I think on the top right is still going down, which means he'll show up. Well, I think he got summoned behind that wall. He gets summoned behind me like a fair amount. Maybe we have to go like this. I think he's on the other side of this wall here. Which is no good for us. We need him right behind me. There he is. It's your boy. Alright, let's go towards the spooky torchlight. Ooh, this one actually needs a key. Shit. Okay. Let's go this way then. I sure hope it's not in any of these prison cells. Could you imagine? Just in a prison cell on the floor. That would just be bad. Bad mod design, really. <laughs> be, nobody would really bother going in all these. Except for a crazy person. Yes, I'm that crazy person. But I know it's not going to be in these. Come on. Be reasonable. Ah. Pick broke. Almost instantaneously. Instantaneously, rather. Yeah, okay. Shh. <laughs> Good luck making XP. I'm going to be a master thief in no time. We're not playing a thief character, so... Shrug? 
Although you don't have to be playing a thief character for lockpicking to be useful. Of course. As you can see. I picked plenty of locks in this. Without being a thief. Oh, yeah, I did level up in between uh, episodes. I didn't actually spend the perk point, that reminds me. I think smithing leveled me up. I can't quite get the next smithing level because it takes 90, so... Maybe we get something else. We can go two-hander, maybe? Uh, let's see. Clash of Heroes. Attacks of Great Soldiers. Targets attack damage by 20% for three seconds. It's alright. Maul. Power attacks of the Great Sword to stabilize the target, increasing the damage of your regular attacks against the target for 50% for five seconds. Seems pretty good. Probably go for that. We definitely don't want to massacre. Because I had to freaking re-perk myself just to get rid of that. Actually, I think I just removed Massacre. I did lose a perk point. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't refund it. But you know what? It was worth it. That was bear hide. Hang on. Come back. Come back to me! You take half damage from enemy attacks while power attacking with a chain of weapon. That's a 90 skill, apparently. That's pretty good. I'm power attacking at, like, a lot of the time. I think we'll get that after we get this, though. I'd rather do more damage. Yeah. Acceptable. Alright. Apparently so. <laughs> it's a lot easier to kill snow elves than skeevers, I guess. There was two prison doors. So maybe the other one has what we need. Or the catacombs have what we need. I'll wait to summon my followers until I get in position. You guys nice didn't have to do that, but whatever. Not a big deal, though, really, as long as I can. But it'd be nice if they'd even just follow me through a basic hallway. Seem to be having trouble with that. Okay, this is not what I was expecting from this door. What is this? Supposedly the prison's again. This doesn't look like a prison. This is like a guard barracks or something. Or the prison. Which is entirely possible, actually. Make sure there's no key on the door or table. <laughs> there's a wall. Have I been in here? Yes. It's the same place. Okay. Good. I just somehow didn't see this door. I guess we're going in the catacomb then, huh? That sounds fun. <laughs> Has anyone said that? I certainly have. Alright, came from there. That's where we go. I'm pretty sure we probably can't get in there yet. Even if we can, I'm still going to go in the catacomb first. Be redonkulous not to. You had me at comb. Alright, I mean, will I die, though? That's the next question. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm supposedly invisible, but I don't feel like I am. Aiden, I need you. <laughs> Tomorrow, I need you. I need everyone. This is a little spooky place to be, huh? I don't like it. Do I have a disease? 
You know what? I didn't cure the disease I had before. I just remembered. <laughs> I had a disease and I meant to cure it. Oh, uh, what was it? Oh. That takes my magic away. That stone. It fortified my sneak. But uh, poison temple reduces maximum and current maximum magicka by 140 points. Jesus. Okay. But I'm pretty sure I had a disease. Maybe it's oblivion I have a disease. I know I have a disease in one of my playthroughs. Okay. Well, then we have that, which is still pretty bad. <laughs> Plant skeletons, though, thankfully. But there's so many. Did I do this already? Hang on. This resets every time. Yeah. I haven't looked into how to make that perfect. Well, we're alive. <laughs> this bone pit is pretty cool, actually. Like, it looks pretty red. I like it. There's also a big ass chest right here, which I'm a fan. Sankator Key. Apparently, we had to go down here. Human flesh. You can never have enough of that. Fuck your bone meal. Okay, how do I get out? Ah, the door. That's usually the usually the case. All right, the boys are with me. Go for a shoot. I just realized my sneak thing is on the bottom of my screen, above my health bar. What? Is that always that way? I don't. I think so. Wow. Shredded. Oh, oh good, there's some music. <laughs> well, will I realize in editing? Unlikely. That was so short lived anyway. A lot of, a lot of things coming. Why, not worse? Why are they not attacking? Ah! What's wrong with this Skyrim? <laughs> My Skyrim insulation is barked. Ah, it's actually quite stable and fine for the most part. Could be worse. Be crashing and bugging out every five seconds, which it isn't doing. I'm actually quite happy with how stable this has been, quite frankly. It has crashed every now and then, sure, but that's Skyrim, you know. It's gonna happen regardless. It's just a matter of how much can you keep it to a minimum, I guess. I'd say we've kept it fairly minimal. Drop of nights. Are you a mummified blade? Oh. Cool. Is the Sancrator like the home of the blades? Is that why there's all these blades? That would make sense. I don't really know, like I said. <laughs> Maybe. Also I didn't realize there's urns up there until I got like too deep. And of course, the ones in the beginning are empty. Fucking typical. Alrighty. I keep taking things by accident. I don't want any of these bone meal, but I've looped them. Regardless. There you are. Oh, 
Why does the music just decide to kick in whenever it wants? Either fucking work or don't. <laughs> like, for reals. This makes my job harder. Sorry. <laughs> I could tell that was my fault. Are you good? Okay, he's good. He's okay! <laughs> Pretty sure I put an arrow right in the back of his head. Whoopsies. Did I lose this already? Yeah. Alright, let's go up here. This place's lighting is pretty cool. I like the, like, ghost flame... torches. Torch lights. You almost not want to use my light thing. We not? Is it too dark though for you guys? Probably. Eh, not really, actually. I can read Shockblade of the Guardian. Nice. Okay, another rune stone. And Navarro's like light spell lights is pretty cool. That mod is awesome when it works. It's kind of glitchy, though. It doesn't always work. When it does. Damn, is it cool. Not really nothing. Darn. What a shame. I could have used some reading. Psych. I fucking nerd shit out of here. <laughs> uh. Okay. Lots of gold. How did the guy get up there? It, it felt like we were fighting the whole population. That's great. He talks about Hammerfall a lot. Probably too much, one might say. If I had one criticism of Never Up, it's he really likes to go talking about Hammerfall. And that's about it. <laughs> it's just, it just feels very. Oh, I see. That's what that is. I was like, what is this random floating fucking thing? It's the door to that. Sarcophagus. Sarcoph... Sarco yeah. Sarcophagi is the plural, of course. I almost called it that, and I was like, wait, that's not right. Hi, hi, sarcophagi. Decent loot, though. I'd like a torch that has this fire color. I'd use that. Well, I maybe wouldn't, but I'd give it to a follower to use. So they can carry for me. Since I have to carry a two-hander. So does he, though. The only person that could, I guess, is Eni, though. And here, ain't even here! Conveniently. That's why we have this travel lantern on our belt. Whatever. Give me your bone meal. Oh, modified blade master corpse. He's a nasty one. Oh shit! That took a lot of health. Okay. How isn't my freaking shout working? Oh. I think I accidentally saw the kite as well, maybe. <laughs> He's here! Get rid of these. Okay, could have been worse. High level. Rune decorary Dagatana. It's worth a lot of money, actually. No 
don't mind if I do. Alright, we searched both the Blade Masters, so very good. Let's carry on. Alright, I'm ready. Come get it. <laughs> level one. <laughs> That's a big difference in power level. That's there is gold, soul gem, and scroll of Umbra Keth. Branch. Oh my god! So many! Lost more plebs, it seems. Good. I don't think there's enough undead in here. <laughs> Fucking hell. Somebody call an exorcist. This place is... It's got a bit going on. Oh, hello. What are you doing? He's just having a little casual stroll. <laughs> it's very strange. Oops. Oh, I just realized it's been an hour. Piss. That looks like we're a little bit extra today. I don't really want to end the video right here, so... This episode's going to be longer, I guess. That's fine. I'm going to go over oh, an hour and a half. I think that's fine. I think we're getting close. I mean, we've killed, like... Godly about the skeletons. Skeleton ghosts. Yes. Get out of the way. Fuck. Why are they not, like, paying attention? Hello? <laughs> Do I have your attention yet? Their breathing stopped. Next to Fascinating. What does that mean? Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, yeah, and it come out of the ground. That was a mod I got for my Necromancer player. But when he summoned skeletons, they would come out of the ground. It was really cool. It works for the AI as well. Alright, I'm just gonna stop wondering about loot, maybe, and just try to get through. I say that, but like, I can't resist looting gold, man. I love that gold town. Let's take this. Where the f fuck do I go? I guess this way. Let's have a save. I think I've had my fill of killing skeletons. Bones chest. Ooh. Hello. Have any helmets? Very nice. Orcish battle axe and another tome of fireball. Never have enough tomes of fireball, apparently. Can you stop breathing? You're so loud. Oh dear. Us. Dealt with. Is there any more? That all you can conjure, Bonermon? What? 
Should've didn't say that. That was weird. Halls of Judgment. Where the hell's that? God damn it. Immediately, ghost skellies. Oh my good god. I mean, I want a screenshot at the very least. Turn off his lights. There we go. This is cool. I don't actually know what button to take screenshots. Print screen, apparently. This is like. Undead Dwarf Delf. <laughs> This is cool. Alright. Let's just keep the light off, man. Ugh, there's so many ghosts, so... I'm actually going to use really good arrows if I... What is my best arrow type? Dragon Steel? Maybe not. Tadric? No. I need something that's like... Zodic. I have a few of those. Those have a weird arrowhead. It's like a butt plug on a s arrow shaft. There you go. Oh shit! Not what I was expecting. Oh, these are cool. Okay, I'll save those. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, why am I so bad at game? If I do this. If I don't have to fight these in melee, all the better. As I'm concerned. I don't know I'm here. I guess it's pretty good. It's a third person archery. But the overall, I kind of prefer it because I know exactly where my arrow is going to go. I still fucked it up. Oh my god. Maybe it's not better always. Oh, about to level. Or we did level? Well, we'll find out when we kill that. There we go. I think we level. Sure did. I want more stamina. Maybe we should level up archery. I'm using it now. Long shot. Target beyond 50 feet takes more damage. Could be good. Those of crossbows ignore 50% armor if the target is not moving. Also pretty good. Alright. Oh, I can't get that yet. I need two more archery points. Let's clean kill. I get the full health. I mean, the first hit. That seems pretty good. They're always going to be at full health the first hit, right? Oh, jeez. Here we go. Is there more to the left? <laughs> Maybe. This place is awesome. I really should have probably broke this up. I think this is going to go a lot longer than I anticipated. Serious judge of the fortress. This guy's special. He doesn't look special, but he is. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh stream stamina. God, I wish my followers would work. Come on, guys. Fuck sake. Do it all myself. <laughs> Don't need you anyway. I can catch this now. I want that on. Time blocking. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. So bad. None of those potions works. Oh man. Or maybe they did. 
I don't know. Okay, this is bullshit. Help me! This is why you exist! Please! You know what? If I teleport him over there... Eh? How can he not, like, pathfind from here to here? I don't understand. What's wrong with the followers? You know, <laughs> to like position them. Now, if we go over here, we summon that. Kitan should appear behind me. Right where they are. Big one yet? I think it's him. Oh, the lieutenant. Yes. Okay. Somebody's still alive. You there. Gotta say, though, other than the followers not working. And their music's being a bit buggy, which might be on my end, I don't know, because it's happened a lot. This place is very cool. I'm very impressed. What's that? Peace. At least they're working now. Gotta make sure I loot the, uh,. Everything. Okay. Eh. Every one of these is a spell time fireball. Rune scroll. Hawk feathers. What is these rune scrolls about? Do they do anything? Or do they just clutter? Just clutter, I guess. Where's the one with the name? Find him. We're like in a... A library. How many books there are? Oh no. This could actually be... Something we have to go searching through for books for the library. Ugh. Where did he go? Why some lurks collect eels? Maybe they can't smell anymore? Yes. <laughs> what is that logic? What does that do with smelling? I guess because they're gross. I don't know. Where's the where's the skeleton with the name, man? It was the lieutenant and the one with the name. The Akaviri thingy? It wasn't called the lieutenant, was it? No. No, it was something else. Where the hell did he go? Well, I guess we're gonna have to look around and find his ass. I think I'll search all these. Oh, in between episodes, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to spend too long on a video just searching book jails like a fucking episode in the Imperial Library. Or the... Not Imperial Library, but the other library. At the Wizard College. College of Winterhold. Got a lot of... Got a thing, though. That was worth it. Where's this one go? I cannot see him from afar. He's hiding from me. There it is. Very dark. 
hard to see them. Those exploding arrows are crazy. Explains why there's like a thing in the front of it. Whoosh. Nice. I love archery to kill with the slow motion. So cool. Okay. Um, I feel like it's a problem I didn't find the body of the man. Just slightly. You know? What's going on here? Death sentence note? Uh, for edit of the Blade Master of the Imperial Royal Guard, I condemn you to death for high treason. That judgment is final and we will be processed. Blah, 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 the rest of the letters corrupted and unreadable. Okay. So they got a little cage. Very nice. Anything through here? Nope. Actually, this would be a good, potentially better screenshot. Navarro, you could be in there, sure. Or not. Uh, boy, string the lantern back on, so I guess I gotta find the skeleton. I had a, a real suspicion he has a key on him. If he does, <laughs> okay, it's gonna be bones, right? It had to have died around here. I would hope. And I'm positive it wasn't. I'm tempted to pause this, look at the footage, and see what his name was. Because it might have been called the lieutenant, but I don't think it was. Did they go in here? I mean, maybe. We ran away. Unlikely. Where does this go to? Entry halls. This is like the starting area. Oh, I didn't even see the entrance of the Hall of Judgment before. Piss. I don't want to done in there. Not until I'm th thoroughly satisfied that I didn't kill some sort of special skeleton. Or miss looting the special skeleton. Anyway, I'll save everybody the hassle. I'll look for it. I'm just getting in this episode. If I find it, well, then we can start next one with it. it. Makes sense. I'll also check all these bookshelves. Makes sense, right? So, yeah. yeah we'll continue clearing Sancrator and find out the end of this bad boy. It's quite, quite deep. We've got a lot to do. But it's been good. I can't wait to add all the music in in post. Yay. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Skyrim. See you next time.